here we are at CWL Champs with the champion himself, Prestini from United. Man, tell me, how does it feel to be a champion? Um, again, it's a little bit better. You know, last time, 100 the grand, you know, Miami, it's playoffs, big event. Um, for us to be able to come out and do it at the biggest one ever, you know, not ever, but you know, the biggest one of the year every year, um, it means a lot, you know, we got a ring. Uh, that's all I really wanted. I didn't care about the money. I, it's just the sentimental value of this tournament. And uh, we did it, so I'm just, I've never been happier. I, I can't explain it. Well, you told me in Miami that it was really emotional for you because you knew the heartache, the trouble times that you guys, you know, you just said, please stick with me. Please give me one more chance. And you did it, man. Does it mean even more here? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> for us to stick through it and uh, come so close to breaking up so many times. And, you know, in the future, we wouldn't have all done this. You know, we'd be on separate teams. We wouldn't be here. You know, it's a lost opportunity if we ever break up. And, you know, for us to come here and win back-to-back -back biggest tournaments and cement ourselves as the best team in this year, you know, it means it means a lot to me. Like, I, I've been doubted my entire life ever since coming into pro, pro scene. And, you know, for me to prove everyone wrong, it's just, like, the best feeling like, ever, like, literally ever. Well, it seemed like the uh, the whole weekend there was a lot of chatter around Optic and, you know, their great run, 100 Thieves, and, and their run through but not a lot about you guys kind of just going through there. But you guys had to go through both of them. What is it? Does it mean even more that you had to take out those two teams? Absolutely, absolutely. I was reading a bunch of stuff saying we had an easy bracket, blessed bracket, you know. I agree. I mean, you know, they're good teams, but they're not top tier teams. And for us to come up and prove everyone wrong and beat both the best teams in the game all year, the top three, I'd say those are the top three teams all year. And for us to beat them back to back and not drop a series, proving everyone I love proving people wrong that's like that's me that's what I do like that's what I try to do and for us to be able to do that means the most well it seemed that you guys came out hot winning that first map then you know, after map two it seemed like a little bit of a momentum swing what, what were you guys saying to each other after that um, it definitely was we threw around like three rounds which should have won us uh, the game we could have honestly 3 0 we choked that control as well and I we would have gone into round five with streaks and stuff but um, I'm sure we would have picked them up. I don't know if we had them, but we, I mean, we just threw it away. And after that, like that 1v3, it was just a momentum shift for them. And it kind of just threw us off guard. It was kind of my fault. I ch over challenged and, uh, you know, but we, we got it together. We knew we're a good hard point team. We could definitely be on every respawn. We could beat them. You know, that's our strongest modes, control and hard point. So we knew we were capable and we were good. We, we were chilling. Well, four appearances to grand finals this year. That in of itself is humongous. Winning, uh, obviously, in Miami, winning here. How do you describe this year? Thinking about it, we've only missed two finals, right? That's insane. Like, that's tough to do, to make every finals. That's like some Astralis. Not not Astralis, because they were dominant. But, you know, to make four finals out of, like, six or seven events, that's tough to do. So, I mean, um, for us to be able to grind it out and get here to this point where we're, like, it's really hard to beat us. It's, like, it's insane. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, man, and enjoy this one.